Welcome back to New Rockstars, I'm Eric Voss, and we just got our first trailer for Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings, Marvel's new martial arts film coming September, following the hero of Shang-Chi, Simu Liu, and his battles with the Mandarin, a villain that we thought we were going to see in Iron Man 3, but that guy was just a fake, and now we are seeing the real Mandarin, though he's going by many names in this. Anyway, I don't know why I'm saying there's a trailer to react to, so I'm going to react to it, give you my first thoughts, and then tomorrow I'm going to have my frame-by-frame -frame breakdown of all the Easter eggs we missed in this trailer. So here we go. That's not easy. I gave you ten years to live your life. Oh, <laughs> cool. I like that Mr. X. And where did that get you? Hmm. Oh, you walked in my shadow. Oh, it's this looks great. Dangerous people in the world couldn't kill you. Son. Ah. Uh, it's right. time for you to take your place by my side. Perfect. Yeah, it's bracelets. Cool, okay. That's not going to happen. The music's great. Oh man. Nice! What? <laughs> you can't outrun. <laughs> what? <laughs> Who are you? Oh, this looks sick. Music's great. I'm loving it. <laughs> uh. We make a good team. Mm, that's why you don't street park into your deli square in SF. Whoa, this looks great. This is exactly what I wanted from this film. Because, yeah, without the Marvel logo, most people wouldn't really recognize this as a Marvel film. And that's the point. That's why it's going to be great. It's going to be a breath of fresh air. Really, the character of Shang-Chi from the 70s comics was inspired by Bruce Lee's Enter the Dragon. Like, arguably his most famous kung fu film. And really, Marvel was just trying to build on the popularity of that in the early 70s. So, at the sides of Shang-Chi, the most important character to point out is Tony Leung. Playing a character known as Win Wu. That is his father, but according to Kevin Feige and the writer and the director, he's also going to be the Mandarin, a character who is ancient, who has gone by many names over the centuries. Really, in the comics, Simu Liu's father is a character that was originally known as Fu Manchu, a very problematic character for a lot of reasons, who in the modern era was updated to the name of Zhang Zhu. Kind of a father-son relationship, son being the hero, father being the villain, but rather than it being a big twist, Shang-Chi knew who his father was and decided to leave for that reason, trying to find a new life in America. But now he's being dragged back into this. But before we continue, thank you to our friends at Seed for sponsoring this video. Seed has created this daily symbiotic that helps support gut health, which is something that we all want. And if you haven't thought about it, congratulations, you're probably like nine years old and everything has always worked for you. So Seed's daily symbiotic is a prebiotic plus a probiotic, and it was developed for benefits beyond just digestive health. It helps support heart health, skin health, and micronutrient synthesis in your Tim Tim. It's got 24 strain broad spectrum probiotic and prebiotic formulated for digestive gut immunity immunity, and additional systemic benefits, 53.6 billion AFU. That translates roughly to, it's got the goods. Its special capsule technology protects against stomach acid and other things in your digestive tract to ensure the live probiotics make it to the end of your small intestine, where they will do their thing. It is sustainably delivered monthly with each component of their refill system designed to protect your daily symbiotic and be gentler on our earth. I've started taking a symbiotic every day and I'm feeling good. I'm excited to see how it will support my health over a longer period. Get 15% off your first month's supply of Seeds Daily Symbiotic by using code new rockstars at checkout. Click the link in the description below to get started. And here we're starting to get a sense of the legend of the 10 rings, which are not going to be the 10 pieces of McLuhan tech that wrap around your fingers, but rather interesting bracelets, five on each hand, I would imagine, which I actually kind of prefer because it removes it from like the knuckle jewelry that the Infinity Stones were. The 10 rings is a criminal organization that's existed since the first Iron Man 
and that was the group that was behind Raza, the terrorist that kidnapped Tony Stark. We also know that they were in Iron Man 2. They were the group who gave Ivan Banco his paperwork. In Iron Man 3, we thought we were getting the Mandarin, but that was really just British actor Trevor Slattery. And then there was a short called All Hail the King, which is technically MCU canon, in which Trevor Slattery is visited in prison by an agent of the Ten Rings, who breaks him out of prison and says that the real Mandarin wants his name and his reputation back. And also there was an Easter egg to the Ten Rings in Ant-Man. One of the guys who wanted his hands on that Pym Tech actually had a Ten Rings tattoo. But yeah, these guys have been around the whole time, and now we're going to see who's really behind them all, which is going to be Wen Wu. In this trailer, we see him apparently in ancient battles in ancient times, so he's kind of a semi-immortal character. She is just his son in the modern era. Here's a great shot of Wen Wu kind of sliding into the center of the frame, right in the center of the Ten Rings on the imprint behind him. Also, when the helicopter lands, yeah, there's a Ten Rings logo on the ground there with what looks like an army of ninjas and operatives. So yeah, it sounds like Shang-Chi is being lured back into this fighting tournament that's hosted by his father, Wen Wu, aka the Mandarin. Also fighting in that is going to be fighter Florian Montianu, Big Nasty. He's playing a character that we think is Razor Fist. I mean, there's really not that much to the character. He's just one of these other assassins from the Shang-Chi comics. There's also this masked ninja that we believe is Death Dealer. Xing Lin. Looks like uh, another assassin who works for the Mandarin in that Ten Rings organization. Manger Zhang is playing Zhai Ling, that's Shang-Chi's sister, also daughter to Wenwu. Aquafina is playing his friend Katie. Ronnie oh. Chang is also another one of their friend in SF. I mean, I'm loving the fight choreography of this. Like, like it's looking like a fusion of lots of different martial arts cinematography from yeah. the comedic slapstick martial arts that Jackie Chan would do to the more epic fantasy wire work that you'd see in Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. There's shots of this amazing looking ancient war with these lions fighting alongside them. And they kind of have the design of the lion dancing monsters in Chinese culture. They aren't modern lions, they're like these ancient fantasy beasts. I mean, look folks, any MCU film that can bring more magic into the universe, whether it's Doctor Strange or Black Panther, I'm here for it. I'm ready for this universe to get more mystical. Those are my first thoughts. There's a lot of interesting details in this trailer that I want to point out. So I'm going to take some time, go through it frame by frame. Hopefully by tomorrow, I'll have a breakdown for you. We got a lot of stuff in the pipeline, but I'm so excited to have this trailer. I'm excited to see how this fits into the MCU we know it to be right now, and how it moves the MCU forward in all kinds of ways. You can get your hands on our New Rockstar's latest Obsession shirt. This is Anarchy Assembly and inspired by the Falcon the Winter Soldier at NewRockstarsMerch.com. You can follow me at EA Voss, follow New Rockstars, subscribe to New Rockstars for breakdowns of everything you love. Thanks for watching. Bye.